Hello, I'm Dr. Christina Blatchford of Blatchford Solutions, and I am thrilled to welcome Dr. John Wayland of Western Surgical and Sedation today. And Dr. Wayland has worked with my dad for many, many years, and I would love to ask Dr. Wayland to go ahead and introduce himself and talk about what, what he has going on with Western Surgical and Sedation. Thanks, Christina. Um, it's great to, uh, to see you again via the, the internet online. Um, yes. so, yeah, I'm, I'm a general dentist. Uh, I've been practicing for about 36 years, and uh, I, I saw that there was a need for oral surgery training um, <laughs> for GP dentists. It's, uh, it's just, you know, they don't get much, uh, much training in, in dental school, at least when I was there. And uh, we, we, we specialize in uh, exodontia, including impacted wisdom teeth. And uh, mm -hmm. the sedation of my company, Western Surgical and Sedation, includes um, uh, certification courses for IV sedation. But ma mainly, um, uh, we started this up because we could see that there was a need. Perfect. Well, wonderful. And that, that, this is not just your business, but also your practice. Is that right? Uh, no, it's just uh, I have a, a mobile practice um, that's called Bay Area Ivy Wisdom, and I'm currently working in about 27 offices in the Bay Area, wow. and all remove impacted wisdom teeth all day long. So I've removed more than 25,000 impacted wisdom teeth over the last uh, 36 years. But uh, no, Western oh Surgery is, is a separate company um, that is, mm -hmm. is just right. for surgery training, mainly for GPs, but we've had prosthodontists uh, and periodontists take our course as well. Perfect. Well, very good. So you have a course coming up in October. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what what would be expected if one were to take that course? Sure, I, I'd love to uh, to talk about that a little bit. Um, so uh, the that is the IV sedation course. We we have three courses. Uh, there's a, a general exodontic course in Nicaragua. Um, mm -hmm. One that we did we used to do with you and you. And you your dad down in uh, Los Barriles, uh, Mexico. Right. Uh, so that's the same course now in Mexico. Uh, I'm sorry, doing in Nicaragua. Um, then we have the exit, the uh, wisdom teeth uh, extraction course or the impaction course, and the one that, that's coming yeah. up in October, IV sedation. So IV sedation um, is is something that I think every dentist should should be should have in their um, you know their their quill of uh, of uh, dentistry arrows, it, it's yeah. uh, it's better than than uh, uh, oral sedation. I mean, you have total control uh, of the sedation of the patient, and you know I would argue that it's actually safer than than uh, uh, than oral sedation because you can control it uh, the degree right. the patient has, and you can recover them and reverse the the sedations easily. So the the course mm -hmm. that we're doing is a six day course, and uh, it's. That's the best part about the course because you don't have to go back several times like you do with most of our competitors who right. uh, back two or three times. So ours is done six days, and at the end of that, we send all the paperwork to you, and then uh, you send it into your dental, the dental board of your state, and uh, you'll get approved. That's incredible. I know many of our clients have gone through your courses and really enjoyed the fact that it is so uh, easy in the sense that you just are doing it all at once there with the IV sedation, that you don't have to go back and forth and it isn't a months long process to really get that going. Yes, yeah, so that, that's, that's a, the key feature and it, it was intentional. Um, I designed uh, our IV sedation certification course around the American Dental Association's guidelines for teaching sedation. Uh -huh. And, and yeah. so our, um, our, our course follows the ADA guidelines perfectly, and we've probably had dentists from uh, at least 25 or 30 uh, states take our courses. And uh, the only state that, that we cannot, um, that will not approve our course that I'm aware of is Nevada. And Nevada okay. requires uh, like a special, special circumstances that we, we don't have okay. uh, guidelines. Well, that, that uh, then there's 49 other states that it works in. So that's pretty good, <laughs> pretty good, pretty yeah. good ratio there. That's good, all yes. right. So, well, that's, that's great. And so you have this course coming up at six days. One question that I would have for you if I were, were wanting to come to this course, do I need to bring patients? 
Oh, that's a great question. Uh, the answer is no, we we provide all of the patients. Um, we've actually been collecting patients um, for the last month and a half, and uh, currently uh, we're fully booked um, for the October course. So the course dates are October 17th to the 22nd. So okay. that we first, uh, the first four days are didactic, which means uh, lecture uh, on the first two days of the course, which would be the 17th and 18th. The 19th and 20th are um, didactic courses that involve uh, vein and puncture, like helping uh, dentists become proficient at vein and puncture. Um, okay. Finally, getting a catheter started, and then the other part yeah. of the, the the third and fourth day are going to be uh, reviewing emergencies uh, and emergency procedures, so that the dentists are are really uh, comfortable with handling any any problems that could arise. Uh, although mm -hmm. it's exactly. Uh, and then finally, on the on the weekend, on Saturday and Sunday, they're going to be actually managing twenty uh, patient cases on the on the weekend. Oh wow! Okay, very good. So that's where you really get your hands on your your hands on coursework. So when when I would leave this course, would I feel comfortable doing sedation in my practice? Well, absolutely, and I, I'd, I'd recommend, uh, um, or I'm not sure how they would, would hook up with these people, but several of, of uh, the Blatchford clients have already taken the course, and um, yeah, so, yeah some, I mean, some of those people, well, a couple of them are actually mentors now for Western Surgical Installation. We have mentors, right. I mean, so a couple of your clients are mentors, but uh, they, they are, I'm sure that they would be happy to endorse the course. Uh, I've got nothing but but positive feedback, and all of the the, the Bradsford clients are actually doing their IVs now in their office. So I know that they're mm -hmm. happy with, of course. Perfect. Well, I think that that's great. It's it's a wonderful thing to be able to go to this course and then feel comfortable that next week, even in your in your office, providing that you have all of the, the everything that you need, all of the supplies that you could go ahead and offer that service to patients. Yeah, and so one another question that I would have for you, John, is what is the cost for this course, this six-day IV certification course that we can okay. take? Okay, um, another a great question. Um, I'm sure your listeners would love to, to know the answer to that one. Uh, it's it's nine thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars, which is uh, I think the most affordable um, IV sedation certification that's available today. Of course, uh, you know we're well aware of the competition, and there are other courses that are are good courses, uh, but I don't think they're any better than than our course. And most of them last uh, up to a hundred hours, which means that the dentists that are participating they have to go back several times, sometimes uh, mm -hmm. many as three times, which means they have to pay for airfare to get there, they have to have uh, uh, pay for hotels uh, in addition to the course cost. And leave your practice three times, so it ends up costing um, exponentially more than our course. It was uh, our, uh, the people that take our course love the fact that they can come there one time. It's kind of an intense course; so it's ten hours a day, but it's fun and hard work at the same mm -hmm. time. Uh, we're done in six days, and you don't have to go back uh, over and over. So uh, overall, uh, it's it's by far the most affordable course uh, uh, available today. Very good. Can I take my assistant, or do I want to take an assistant to also help with this and learn the IV sedation, or or learn how to assist me in IV sedation? Well, that's a, that's another great question. Um, you you can. I come up with a few of those. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not recommended. In, in from my view, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. you know, everything that, that the assistant needs to know. Is going to be uh, you can easily cover when um, when the attendees get home. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of crowded. I mean, we, we have uh, lots of dentists taking the course, and with the add in the, the assistants, uh, I think it it actually kind of uh, dumbs down the learning experience, <laughs> for lack of better terms. Uh, sure. just have... Well, well, I think waters waters that down a bit. I think for sure uh, to have. Too many people that are really part of it or too many people that are that are in the room so i that makes a lot of sense to me and one of the things that i have heard from some of our doctors who have taken this course with you is what they love 
about this beyond the fact that they learn IV sedation in a short amount of time and feel really confident with their skills after this course is that they have then a network of people, of, of course attendees, and then also you and several of your other instructors that they then can contact and discuss particular cases. And so can you talk a little bit about that, the post-course support oh, thanks, that you Chris, have? That, that's, the, that's your best question so far. Uh, it's a, it, it, thanks. It, yeah, I think what you're talking about is, um, we have, a, we have a, a Western Surgical and Sedation Facebook private group. So uh, all of the, the or the uh, alumni of any of our courses uh, have access uh, to um, that forum on Facebook, the private group, and um, there's a lot of, uh, of interaction um, on a daily basis um, in that group, and uh, cases that you're interested in can be posted, um, Western Surgical faculty can respond, and also uh, any of the Western Surgical alumni can respond to the, the uh, questions. Uh. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes our attendees will post videos, um, or they will mm -hmm. Um, they will have a, a, a picture of, a, of an x-ray. Uh, I remember in one case, uh, one of the, the attendees had difficulty starting uh, uh, his uh, uh, vein puncher, had difficult, you know, couldn't get the uh, IU sure. started. Couldn't get mm -hmm. And then you know, we had 10 or 15 responses to that about different tricks about how um, some of the other, other people that were part of the group, how they uh, overcome those, uh, you know, those, those, um, Challenges on the IV. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's a so, thing. yeah, good. So it's really ongoing learning, and is is that then available? That's available to everyone who has taken any type of any of the courses, any of the the extraction course, and then the sedation course, and also the early third molar removal course. Absolutely. Yeah, it's all, all three of the courses, all of the, the alumni are there. And occasionally, we even get a few uh, questions about implants. Um, my company, Western Surgical Institution, has, has pointedly not added uh, implant cor courses. We've, we've to toyed with that idea, but there are so many implant cor courses, uh, thousands of them in the United States, and sure. um, basically uh, decided to, make, to stay in our, our little niche um, to offer courses that are not usually available um, to dentists um, you know, in the United States, and we've had attendees from other parts of the world as well, but uh, it, it's, uh, it's my intention that we just focus on uh, our own little, little niche. I think that's perfect, and that it makes a lot of sense. All the, the classes that you're teaching really can be a precursor and or work concurrently with an implant course as well because if you're teaching extraction we, we obviously need to take a tooth out a lot of times to be able to put an implant in so we need those basics and the IV sedation is really something that that patients love to the patients really enjoy to not be part of the process when when there's surgery going on so I, I think that's wonderful it's a great practice builder yes I, you know, I, I kind of got a little bit um off, uh, off the, the topic of the, as far as the, the forum um, and the private group on, on Facebook, but uh, I just wanted your listeners to know that, that sometimes uh, we even do have some implant cases that are posted because everyone that's on that uh, Facebook forum, uh, are, they're all interested in, in surgery and, and virtually every one sure. of them are placing implants. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Well, good. Well, I, this this sounds just like an incredible course. I know I just heard terrific things from all of our clients that have taken your courses and really have that confidence to go into their offices that next week and really do what they have learned the previous week. So that's, that's not something that you can say with a lot of courses out there to be able to have that confidence. So I think you've really, your niche is exactly perfect for what you would like to do here. So I think it's terrific. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, I just want um, to um, leave your listeners with uh, uh, one final thought. I, I think that uh, it's, it's pretty common uh, that, um, that dentists, uh, GPs especially, uh, may not have uh, that much confidence in IV sedation, or they might be worried about the safety issue. 
Um, mm -hmm. that, you know, the IV sedation is incredibly safe if it's done correctly. And we teach yeah. our, our how to do it properly and uh, and to know how to handle any um, situation that might arise. In my 36 years, or I guess I've been doing it since 1983, so that's not quite, that's more like a 34 years for the IV sedation. But <laughs> yeah, I've, it, it, it's, uh, I've never had a problem. Uh, I've never even had an incident. And uh, I've probably done more than 10,000, you know, sedations. So um, that doesn't mean things can't, can't come up. So we, we do prepare. Uh, we prepare the dentist very well for any uh, situation that might arise, but it's very unlikely if you know, the dentists are following what we teach and they're, they're mm -hmm. uh, careful with what they do and with patient selection. Uh, so we'll cover all of that during the course. Um, and I look forward to meeting um, any uh, prospective attendees. Uh, they can call me directly on my phone number, um, my, my cell phone, um, which is listed on, on our website. And the website is westernsurgicalandsedation.com. So, uh, if they want to log in there, there's a, there's a lot of inf more information they can get uh, from our directly from our website, including my my cell phone, so they'd have a direct uh, a way to contact me directly if they have questions um, after they they uh, attend this uh, this webinar. Fabulous, wonderful. Well, I think that that's terrific. So learn from the best. Somebody who has done over 10,000 cases, I, I think that that is, um, those are pretty solid numbers and that, that would give me confidence to take this course. So thank you so much for your time today and we will look forward to seeing you and working with you in the future. Great, Christina. It's just great to uh, hear from you after uh, many years and uh, um, maybe I'll, I'll pass the class uh, down the road a little bit. That sounds great. Thanks, Christina.